Fish fingers are such a fun way to have your fish fillets. Kids love them, grown-ups love them. They are so easy to make. This is another recipe that you need to know because it is a crowd pleaser. Very easy. Let me show you. For this very easy recipe, we're going to need some salt, some paprika, curry powder, some eggs. And we're going to need some breadcrumbs, some oil for deep frying. Of course, this is just a symbolic oil. <laughs> I have a lot more. I'm going to use this adobo powder. You don't have to. By the way, you can use whatever spices you want. And then we've got some milk here. I have some uh, multi-purpose um, spice here, which is Royco for those who live here. And lastly, I have some wheat flour. And of course the fish fillet themselves this is one kg i have washed them they are clean they are ready to be eaten well once they're cooked so the first thing we are going to do is to obviously cut our fish fillets into fingers <laughs> or some guys call this fish sticks the difference is the same this is about one inch And you should always be on the lookout for tiny pieces of bone because some of them get left here. It's great to do this while you're washing your fish. But in case you miss it, then you cut it out later. All right. I try to make mine to be as even sized as possible so that in the deep frying process they they cook evenly you know so i'm doing a series of simple but yummy recipes that i feel every home cook needs to know because they're great for your family like you know just for entertaining as well and just so we can stop having the same meals the same way so let me know if there's a recipe you'd like me to make down below so this is going to be like a whole series of ready done uh, meatloaf which is a great way to have your minced beef we've done some amazing mashed potatoes if you thought you knew how to make mashed potatoes watch that video you go and be surprised man So this dish calls for a lot of prior preparation. So one of the things I want to do is to line this tray. Because this way I'm going to put the fish fingers once I have deep fried them. Okay, we are going to deep fry the fish fingers. But you can also bake them in your oven if you want to go for the healthier option. Um... So that's one way of preparing is just know where you're going to put them once they come out of the of the of the oil. Another thing, I also need this tray. This one is where I'm going to put them once I have coated them before they go into the into the oil. So let me make space for that. I also need four dishes, and I'm using these big ones because I feel like I have a large batch of fish fingers. We have four stations here on how we are going to, to coat the fish fingers. The first station will be for milk. All right. I feel that's enough. Then once we have coated the fish fingers in milk, we are going to coat them in flour. Let me get a scoop. So I need to get a scoop to measure out. Okay, you don't really measure the flour, but it's easier to scoop when it's when it's this way. So I'm going to put this is half a cup, so I'm putting like yeah that's enough maybe one cup and then some into this flour i'm going to put some paprika i 
just a little bit and some of this roiko here just a little bit because we want to flavor the fish look at me we want to flavor the uh, fish fingers every layer needs flavor okay then i mix this the next layer will be our eggs i'm going to put three eggs because there's nothing quite boring as you reach in the middle of coating your fish fingers and realize you don't have enough coating and then your hands are all just so sticky all right i'm getting my eggs for the liquid uh ingredients i'm using the flatter container because i just find it's easier to coat them when they're when it's in a flat container in this coat i can also add some milk in this layer our last layer will be our bread crumbs now these ones also tend to get finished very quickly so there i have about two cups because these ones they get finished so fast and then here now is where i put most of my flavor so i'm going to put this adobo powder that i bought from walmart if you haven't checked that video you can check it out and because it is quite salty i am not going to add salt or maybe i'll add just a little bit very very little then i'm going to put our curry powder because we want it to be just a little spicy not too much because i'm feeding kiddos if you are, are not cooking for kiddos you can also put in uh black pepper literally these spices are for you to play around with and find what works okay so we say just a little salt very little something like that okay halfway through coating the fish i'm going to put the oil on the fire i don't want to put it right now because it might be too early i don't want it to overheat so i'll just coat about half of them then i'll light the the fire for the oil then i'll finish by that time the oil should be hot enough and then we'll start deep frying the deep frying goes very fast so now this process as i said can get messy so this is what i like to do because i'm going to use my hands so i del delegate one hand for the dry stuff and one hand for the wet stuff otherwise you just gets really messy okay so let me show you so first i take one fish finger i dip it and coat it nicely in the milk of course drip off the extra come here the dry hand takes over make sure it's fully covered shake off the excess put it in the eggs make sure it's completely covered okay and lastly into the breadcrumbs now here i like to really pack it in just to make sure the breadcrumbs are sticking nice and good okay so now our first fish finger is done put it there repeat times a million
so it's frying time I just want to test whether my oil is ready I'm going to take a small piece and put it in and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so if it doesn't if it hasn't come up after 10 seconds that means you need to give the oil a few more minutes maybe like a minute or so so i feel now we're ready so of course mind your fingers don't crowd your oil and just stick around That's good enough. It takes about, uh, I'd say, three minutes on each side to cook it through and through without burning. I just want to make sure they are all in a single layer. None is on top of the other. I feel like I could have added a few more, but it's fine. So the first batch is out. We're looking for this nice golden color. I like it. So it's important to give the oil about 10 seconds to just reheat, go back up temperature wise before we put the next layer. And I think we're ready. Also keep adjusting your fire so it doesn't get too hot because we want them to, be, to cook through and through, not just brown on the outside and then uh, remain raw on the inside. Ain't nobody wants that. So I'm blanching here some sugar snap peas that I'm going to use to serve um, the fish fingers just in some hot boiling water for five minutes then i'll fry them in bake in not in bacon in butter and they'll be done meanwhile i'm on my last batch here my taste testers are already saying how are they tasting guys Delicious. there you go Shakalaka. Yeah, look at how amazing that looks. Oh my goodness. I just want to taste one of these fish fingers so y'all can know. I know what I'm talking about, man. Okay, first, let me try this. I want you to hear the crunch. Are you ready? Listen. Told you they'd be crunchy. Hmm? And then when you take some lemon like this and then you sprinkle you don't need tartar sauce you don't need any of that this is all you need just a slice of lemon hmm? Try this recipe guys and let me know. Remember to watch the playlist of simple but delicious recipes that you need to know. I'll put it right here and I'll see you over there. Bye.